that there's some big breaking news which is coming in. Congress has uh, stepped in, thanked the uh, Supreme Court for dismissing SBI's plea for a... Uh, 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 for uh, ex an extension which is going to come in uh, when it comes to electoral bonds they wanted an extension till the 30th of June however now you have reactions coming in from the Congress party which are saying that the SBI's plea has been laughable uh, remember the Supreme Court itself had said all that the SBI needed to do was to unseal the envelope and give out the details in fact let me go across to Aditi also who's joining us Aditi I believe there are mo many more reactions which are coming in on social media from the opposition can you take us through some of them right and uh, we have Casey Venugopal reacting he says the Supreme Court has once again come to protect Indian democracy from the devious me mechanism of this regime uh, it was laughable for the SBI to seek an extension on a simple one day job the fact is that the government is scared of all their skeletons tumbling out of the closet the this mega corruption scandal as certified by the Supreme Court, will expose the unholy nexus between BJP and its corrupt corporate masters. We have Mahua Moitra also reacting uh, to what happened inside the court and how the CGI has given a deadline to the SBI. She has quoted CGI's in saying that though we are not exercising contempt jurisdiction, but we place SBI on notice that this court will proceed against it for willful disobedience of court if it does not adhere to the directions issued by the court. Slam dunk. Also in the morning, she had put out a reaction saying that uh, the BJP is scared as so the BJP who came to power promising to reveal Swiss bank details are now fearing to reveal SBI details. This is what she reacted in the mornings and now she has said that the submission of SBI indicates that info sought is readily available. Thus the application seeking extension of time until June 30 is dismissed. SBI is directed to disclose the info by March 12. Thank you Supreme Court. So the opposition is hailing what the Supreme Court just said and the deadline is tomorrow. The SBI has to furnish all the details. Clyde Castro of the NCP has also tweeted about it, saying that this strengthens our democratic values and faith in the judiciary. BJP must remember that we have an apex court that upholds the voice of the people and believes in transparency. Very interesting politics over electoral bonds. Submission date for the SBI is going to be tomorrow and by the 15th. By 5 p.m., you expect the ECI to upload all the details as well as the KYCs, the numbers, the names on its own website. The uh, Supreme Court itself is going to be looking into the entire process. We are going to get you minute-by-minute minute updates as well as the politics. But for the timing, a short break. Don't go anywhere.